creating vivid watercolor effects with pigment powders. We'll be using DIY paint making powders and a face sketch that I actually created a stencil film from. I am not a true watercolorist. And if you are, you might cringe a little bit because we're breaking their tradition and we're going to do a watercolor effect with pops of colors that remind me of Laugh-In, that show in the late 60s. Let's get started. Let's look at our stencil film and applying the DIY paint, Sandy Blonde. Here she is on a board that we first painted with DIY paint, White Swan. We are going to use Sandy Blonde. I just happen to have it in a jar here. And we are using it full strength with a color shaper to apply. What's great about using DIY paint is that it's thick enough to go through the film, but it's water-based, so it's an easy cleanup. And here is our reveal. Look at all the detail. It even picked up paint splatters from the original artwork. Be sure to have a water container nearby for easy cleanup with your stencil. We're painting her face with watered down sandy blonde. And we'll seal at this point with one thin coat of DIY Paint Big Top. We seal at this point because we are going to be using a lot of water. DIY Paint Making Powders are intense color pigments. Let's mix our making powders. Be sure to check out the links in the description below of different ways to use the making powders. I have a deviled egg dish I use. We have date night and bright side and I used these yesterday so they keep. You just add water to reactivate and look at the intense color that you get. You use very little of the pigment powders and even these will be diluted more as we begin to paint. So I'm adding some additional making powders and then we'll simply add the water to the brim of these little containers and mix. You'll want to stir them up occasionally as you use them. So I'm taking the date night and actually watering it down even more and offloading to add some color to her cheek area. It's so easy. It's like when we were little and we would paint in our coloring books or paint by number. I don't necessarily fill in all of the area. And now we'll put a little bit of color to her lips. Being sure to offload again and not filling in that area completely. And here is a speeded up clip of painting more of her face. We used watered down DIY paint layered chocolate to give her some shading and depth. We painted her hair with the making powders bright side in some areas more diluted than others. If you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to our channel, Morning Dew Drops by Terry Stevens. It helps us so much. Her eyebrows and other outline features of her face was done in the DIY layered chocolate. And now that is being diluted even more to put areas in her hair with a little bit of brown. Her eyes were painted 
with the Making Powder Elixir. These stencil films are great to work with because you can make her your own. In the original artwork, her hair was up. Here, we've made it come down. Let's apply DIY Paint Cardinal Red to our rose stencil film. Please let us know if you're interested in any of the stencil films. And product links are in the description below. Let's add some drips. We're using the Violicious to drip flowers from the top from stencil films we put on and the leaves were done in Plant Lady. You can mask off areas to control the drips. You can use these stencils as a line drawing that are so popular or fill in. Let's make a splash with some splatters using all kinds of colors in the making powders. And again, you can mask if you like. Here is the original artwork created from the stencil and tips. Don't completely outline features. Leave some areas white and follow the direction of your light source for shadows and shading. Don't forget those drips and splatters. Be sure and seal your painting with either DIY paint Crystal Clear Liquid Patina or Big Top Top Coat. And you need very, very little. Just get the tip of your brush and that's all you'll need. And those splatters and those drips and all the other colors will even be more vivid. Here she is in vivid colors inspired by the late 1960s using DIY paint making powders and there'll be another video on those wooden flowers. We hope you like this video about DIY paint making powders. We'll be doing another video very shortly on the making powders, artisan enhancements, pearl plaster, and iFlex wood products with their flowers. Until then, catch you on the next video. Please like and subscribe. Bye!